Season's greetings to the members of the City of London branch of the Royal Society of St George and to your family and friends. Through the kind services of Reverend Barbara Stedman Allen, the choir and organist of St Mary Magdalene Church, Holmwood, there follows a selection of carols for your enjoyment and of course sing along to if the mood takes you. Placing the recording on YouTube has the advantage that you will be able to listen to the carols at any time. I hope this unique service will go in some small way to make up for not being able to sing carols at this year's Mansion House Christmas Banquet. As an aside, our President, Ted Jackson, has recalled that 70 years ago, in 1950, yes, he can remember so long ago, that on his first class scout hike, he was tasked with drawing the clock face of St Mary Magdalene Church, where I am today. I now pass you over to the Reverend Barbara Stedman Allen, the choir and organist of St Mary Magdalene. Welcome to this service of nine lessons and carols from St Mary Magdalene Church for Homewood. We've come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the great festival of Christmas. In this service we hear the good news of the birth of Jesus and we offer to God our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. But as we sing our carols, we also pray for the world he came to save, for the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to share the good news of his love to a needy world, for the world, that its peoples may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace for all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful, and the bereaved, that the peace and light of Jesus Christ may bring hope and healing. We commend all whom we love, all those for whom we have promised to pray to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father. You may like to pause and bring your own concerns for others to God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen.
Matthew 2, verses 1 to 12. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said. For well, this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was born. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother. And they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. John unfolds the mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created, but the world did not recognize him. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the Word became human and made his home among us. He was full of grace and truth, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. From his abundance, we have all received one gracious blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, but God's unfailing love and faithfulness came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ the Son of Righteousness shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.